Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Contingency X. My name's Travis, and today we are going to be talking about multi-tools. Um, in particular, we're gonna be talking about the multi-tool that is part of my EDC. We've had a couple of people ask, um, which multi-tool do I use? I've used different tools in different videos for different projects, but my EDC multi-tool is the Leatherman Wave. Um, this is something that I started carrying probably about nine months ago, and I absolutely love it. It replaced my standard pocket knife. Um, I carry this in my back pocket, and it's, uh, I mean, it's just phenomenal. I don't feel that it's there. It's very, um, it's very lightweight. It's about 8.5 ounces. It's about four inches um, approximately in length, and it fits perfectly in my right back pocket. The reason I moved away from a pocket knife to a multi-tool is obviously, well, a multi-tool has a pocket knife on it and a bunch of other features. This particular one, the Leatherman Wave, has 17 other features associated with it. And we'll go through those real quick. I mean, they're pretty self-explanatory, so it's not something we're gonna spend a bunch of time on. Um, but you do have a saw blade, okay, which I use all the time great has a file a little bit of pocket knife. you can see i carry that in my jeans every day um, the file i use every once in a while but it's nice to have uh, it does have a very sharp pocket knife i use this pocket knife every day hence it's part of my edc um, great knife very sharp um, i haven't sharpened it once and like i said i've had it for at least nine months now and I do use it on a daily basis, whether it's cutting cardboard boxes open, um, sometimes I use it to cut my vegetables, whatever it is. Um, but this knife is super sharp and it's, it's very reliable. When you open up the Leatherman Wave, you have their pliers. Their pliers are great because it actually also has wire cutters down here at the very bottom, um, if you guys can see that. And it has the notch out so you can get a good grip on any kind of uh, screw or bolt head or anything of that nature. Um, so they're very good, very strong pliers. And then on the inside you have a um, removable, I guess, you know, Phillips or, and or standard um, bit tip here. So what's cool about the Leatherman, and I know a lot of other tools do this as well, is you can actually replace these bits, so you can go from a standard, uh, a standard to a Phillips, depending on whatever your needs are. And what's great about Leatherman is they actually offer these sold individually, which are different size attachments. So if you need to go to a star or hex key, um, different size Phillips heads, different size flat heads or standards, even down to a real tiny one for like your eyeglasses or any kind of um, real fine technical type of screw. They have this accessory pack that comes with the case and this is something that I carry in my bag um, just in case I need it. But it's very convenient, I use it all the time. So I love that about it. Um, I also has a can opener. Uh, honestly, I haven't used a can opener yet, but it looks like any other standard can opener, so I'm sure it'll work fine. Um, and I think that's pretty much it on this side. On the back side, we have this funky looking thing, which I had no idea what the hell it was when I first got it, but you simply fold it open and it becomes a tiny micro kind of pair of scissors. And these scissors are great. They actually work very well. Um, I use them on occasion when I don't have a larger pair of uh, scissors or shears and they work great. They're sharp um, and very sturdy. And as well as, this is the section for the micro screwdriver. Again, this is replaceable um, with one that you can get in the, um, in the additional accessory kit. You can see this one's pretty beat up because I do use it quite often. Um, so it's nice that they give you the option to have a micro and a standard size um, hex or, or not hex, but uh, Phillips or standard uh, screwdriver set. And then what's cool about this side too is they actually give you another screwdriver. Um, this is just a standard flathead that is um, 
completely sturdy. So you can't replace this one. So if you have to get into something that's a little bit more robust, a little bit heavier duty, this particular one works very well for that as, uh, as well. Now, one of my favorite features um, about the Leatherman is the fact that every single one of its tools you're able to lock in place. This was one of the big selling points for me. So if I open up, I close this back, and I open up the saw, for instance. Okay, a lot of multi-tools don't have locking features. So as soon as you open it up, you can actually very easily fold it back down. This one has a locking feature. It's a pressure locking feature on it. So this isn't gonna go anywhere unless you unlock it, okay? I love this. This was one of the biggest selling points to me, okay? Um, it's not only for the outside tools, you know, your, your knife and your file and your saw, but it's the same thing with all of your inside tools as well. And the way that that works for your inside tools is there's actually on both sides, if you can get this, there's a pressure button on both sides that releases it so that it's free to go. Otherwise, it's locked in there solid. Now, the reason this was a big deal to me is I was using another multi-tool from a different manufacturer and I was torquing down on a screw and because it didn't have the locking mechanism, it actually collapsed on my finger and cut my finger open and it sucked, okay? Um, didn't like it, didn't enjoy it at all. So this has been probably one of my favorite features. Um, something I didn't go over because I don't really use it is on each arm of the multi-tool, there are different lengths of measurement, so you can use this as a ruler if need be. You can see that the Leatherman, um, the Leatherman Wave has been put through its ringers. I mean, it's it's got scratches on it and the whole nine yards. It's a tool. It's supposed to have scratches on it. But when you get this from the factory, it comes with a very nice black finish. It's almost, um, it's almost kind of greasy um you know and that quickly take a towel to it quickly rubs off and um and you're good to go it'll get this nice worn finish within a couple of days of use a week of use whatever don't be afraid of it it gives it some character um and i love it one of the other things that they sell for the leatherman wave as an accessory is this clip right here so you can actually attach it to your pocket and again this locks into place using the same locking mechanisms so it's very diversified and uh, adaptable to whatever your needs are. If you don't like the clip, they do sell um, a similar piece where it has just a loop on top so you can hook it up to a lanyard. Okay. Um, again, I've tried many multi-tools over the years. I've used SOG, I've used um, the multitasker tool, I've used Gerber, I've used a plethora of them. And there's nothing wrong with those other brands. Uh, I own all of them, I use them for different purposes. But this particular one, the Leatherman Wave, is my favorite, and this is my everyday carry uh, multi-tool. And again, I use this over a, a regular knife, um, and it's just always with me, it's been a savior. We really, really do like it. I believe this retails right around you know, 100 bucks. You can find it uh, different places online, maybe a little bit less expensive. Um, whatever you get it for, it's a great tool, highly recommend it. Um, and there's not, I mean, there's not much else I can say without repeating myself. So tell us what you think. Tell us what your favorite multi-tool is. I'm sure there's a bunch out there I haven't tested. We'd love to hear from you. Um, definitely love doing these reviews. So if there's a tool out there that you want to see, that you want to review, let us know. We'll make sure that we do our best to get our hands on one and give you guys our honest opinion about it. Um, Share us, like us, support us on Facebook. We appreciate your support. Always be safe, have fun out there. And until next time, this is Travis with Contingency X saying thank you very much.